All remaining systems will bow to the First Order and will remember this as the last day of the Republic. Hello, this is Elias Hutchinson coming at you with another set showcase. And as you can see here, I have the speech platform from The Force Awakens where General Hux gives his infamous speech about this being the last day of the Republic before they fire the Starkiller base. And I built this, uh, oddly enough, for a TikTok. <laughs> Strange world we're living in. But I thought it would be cool to show this scene in Lego because I hadn't really seen sort of a scale replica of this sort of staging area and use it in a video with that soundtrack. And so I, I've set about building this. I'd already built this basic platform with the black tiles interspersed with the studs and such so that people could stand on it. And I thought if I built off of that, I could probably get a good approximation of what's shown in the movie. And I think it turned out pretty well, so I will now show you some of the details of that. So here we have probably the hardest part of the build, which was the platform itself. And what with it sort of jutting out diagonally, it was difficult to approximate in Lego, but I think I got a pretty nice curve going on there. If you look at it just from the front, it does sort of give you the same effect. And I added tiles on it to add that sort of brutalistic detail as a scene in the architecture of the thing. Now moving on to the minifigures themselves, you'll see General Hux front and center giving his speech as he should be. And then right behind him, I was careful to follow the layout as seen in the movie. So behind him is an Admiral and Captain Phasma, and there should be some snow troopers behind them if it was being completely accurate, but I just moved them to better showcase the platform. And then behind him, I have a collection of officers. I actually have quite a few First Order officers. I think there are some cool uniforms and good minifigures to have, and so I collected quite a few of them just for fun. And I thought this would be a good place to use them. And so over here, I have some captains and lieutenants along with Legion General Pride, because I'm not sure if he's actually in The Force Awakens, canonically that is, but I think his uniform blends in well with theirs. And then over there in the center are some more captains and lieutenants, and above them I built part of the First Order insignia. I didn't build the whole thing because I didn't have enough bricks to build an enormous flag, and in the actual scene you don't see the whole thing, so I didn't need to build it. And notice also that I built some sort of stairs because the platform they're standing on has tiers to it so that the officers standing behind Hux and Phasma are slightly elevated above them. And then over here I have some more officers, some female captains and lieutenants, as well as some colonels and majors in blue. And then over here is, of course, Rose Tico in the colonel uniform. No one's going to notice. You'll also notice these tall concrete columns going up either side of the flag. And they're a bit farther to the sides in the movie, but I wanted to incorporate those into the build. And the side and back of the platform do not look so great. I was basically just stacking bricks, one on top of the other, to support the platform without it falling over. And I honestly didn't do a great job. A lot of the plates that are stacked on top of it almost fell down. I had to do more structural support after I built the what was supposed to be the support structure. And then behind here is a bunch of red bricks to cover up the back of the flag. And the top of it I didn't do as great a job as that, and so the light sort of shines through, but you don't really see the top of the flag in the animation, so it's not a big deal. Now moving on to the troop section. Down here I just sort of added rows of stormtroopers as seen in the movie as well as some pilots and technicians. But I realized after I had stacked them that there really weren't that many that could fit in this little space that I had to create sort of that sense of vastness that you get in the movie. 
And so I added a second platform behind it. And these platforms are pretty basic. I just stacked some black plates on top of base plates. And you can see all the troops doing their salute at the end of Hux's speech. You know, some more technicians and officers over here, some stormtroopers over here. And you'll see that I have some Imperial style stormtroopers back there, but behind all the First Order stormtroopers, you can't really see the details that give them away as such. You can only really see the tops of their shiny white plastic helmets. And so I thought that was a good way to make it look like I had more First Order stormtroopers than I really did. And over here we have some flame troopers and snow troopers behind the technicians. You put it all together, they have a pretty impressive display there. And so here we have the troops with the additional platform I built. And you can see there's a much greater sense of scope with all the troops lined up like that. So yeah, there's my first order speech platform build. It's pretty nice. It's a shame I'll have to take it down now, but I hope you all have enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more builds like this in the future.